hi if you are someone who exercises only who only does few certain exercises to improve the body composition of a certain part of your body for example the chest or the biceps or the abdominal thinking that if you exercise those body part you will lose fat from that uh, fat from that area and you will improve the look of that body part then this exercise uh, this video is for you in this video i'm going to point out the mistake that you're making with this kind of a mindset and this kind of an exercising pattern because it can put you at a risk of pain and injury all right i am ruma i am a certified fitness trainer i'm a certified fitness nutritionist and i am a women's fitness specialist from international sports and sciences academy usa and national academy of sports medicine USA. and in this video i'm going to cover the dangers that can happen when you exercise only few muscle groups in your body or only you exercise only certain body parts and i'm also going to cover what you can do to avoid that kind of the the pain and injury that comes from muscular imbalances okay so let's get started now the number one thing that you need to understand is if you are exercising only certain muscle groups in our body in your body then you are causing muscular imbalances this is how now say for example uh, you know uh, explaining you with an example is this is a bicep and this is your tricep muscle the bicep and the tricep muscles together they support the shoulder joint and they support the elbow joint these are the two joints to which the biceps and the triceps attach so whenever you have to move the shoulder or you have to move the elbow these are the two muscles that come into play there are others as well but i'm just keeping it simple for now now whenever if say for example you are someone who is looking to build big biceps and you do a lot of bicep curls what it will what it will do is it will render your triceps weak and your biceps will become strong uh, your biceps will become shorter because that is how uh, strengthening happens by flexing the muscle and your triceps will become longer because you are not flexing them enough with that a muscular imbalance arises towards the elbow joint and towards the shoulder joint and what happens is that can lead to because one pulls the joint more and the another is not pulling as much and it can lead to pain and then injury similarly with your uh, with your knee joint because the knee is supported by by muscles from all over, from all the sides and if you do not strengthen all the muscles that are uh, covering your knee joint then it can lead to muscular imbalances and later to uh, pain and injury all right so what can we do in order to avoid this kind of uh, um, you know this kind of a risk so number one to under, uh, is to understand the different uh, the 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 different complementary muscles in our body every each muscle in our body has a complementary muscle and what do we mean by complementary muscle just like i explained biceps and triceps when one muscle is shortening the another lengthens and when the this muscle is shortening biceps will lengthen right so just look at this uh, look at this movement when i bring my elbows towards myself the bicep is contracting and the tricep is extending and when i take this arm away from myself the bicep is extending while the tricep is uh, contracting so this is they work complementary to each other when one flexes the another strengthens and when another strengthens when this strengthens the other flexes all right so these are called the complementary muscle and if you want to build a, a balanced strength in our body in your body you want to build flexibility as well then you will need to work the complementary muscles each of the complementary muscles now let me cover the complementary muscles so that when you design your exercise program you can uh, you can work each of these muscles all right so the first set of complementary muscle that we just covered is bicep and tricep so if you're picking any exercise for your bicep like the bicep curl also complement it with an exercise for your tricep like the tricep extensions
All right, so that is one set of complementary muscle. The second set of complementary muscle are your pectorals, the chest muscle, and the muscles of the trapezius. It is a rhombus-shaped muscle which starts from the from the base of your cervical spine and goes up till your covers your thoracic spine, a part of your thoracic spine. So it covers from here till here. It is a diamond-shaped muscle. So whenever you are uh, you are exercising your chest, remember to exercise your shoulders. Uh, the trapezius muscles as well. So the for the exercises of your chest would be push-ups, exercises for your chest would be chest presses, if you're doing it with dumbbells or with barbells, and for your trapezius would be shoulder presses or shoulder press push-ups, all right? The third set of complementary muscle are your, um, are your deltoids. These are the deltoid muscles, the deltoids. And the complementary muscle to that is the uh, latissimus dorsi, which is a muscle which is right underneath your shoulder blades here, right? That is your latissimus dorsi. So the uh, the different exercises that work the deltoids and your lats. For the lats, you uh, you have pull ups, you have chin ups. For lats, you have the lat pull downs, which you can do uh, on a machine. Um, and for your deltoids, you have the uh, shoulder raises, the lateral raises, the front raises, all of these are the, the, the exercises that work your deltoids. The next set of complementary muscles are the abdominal muscles and the muscles of the back, which is the erecta spina. So abdominal muscle is, uh, you know, whenever you do any uh, abdominal exercises, the crunches, uh, make sure that you also do an exercise of the back, for example, planks, um, for example, the cobra, the flying cobra, the bhujanga asana, all of these are exercises of the back. So abdominal muscle have to be balanced with the muscles of your back. The next set of complementary muscles are the ellipsa, which are, your, which are also your hip flexors and your glute, uh, the muscles of your glutes, which are your, the muscles of your hips or in bad words, bumps. So um, any exercise that works your ellipsoa has to be has to be complemented with the exercises that are meant for your um, uh, meant for uh, 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 glutes. For example, you know, always uh, always attach uh, 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 any uh, quad uh, quad exercise uh, quadricep exercise with uh, with glute bridges where you extend your hip upwards. All right. Um, the next set of complementary muscles are the quadriceps and your hamstrings. Quadriceps are the front of your thighs and hamstrings are the back of your thighs. So um, the right exercises for your quadriceps would be to uh, wall squats, any kind of squat for, for that matter. The wall squats, the um, uh, barbell squats, if you want to you know, put something on the back and then uh, squat, then that is a good exercise for your quadriceps. And the complementary exercise for the hamstring would be any exercise, uh, you know, leg curls on the machines, or you could do slider leg curls with the, you know, the slider disc, or you could do deadlifts. Those are good exercises of your hamstrings. And the last set of complementary muscles are your uh, shin muscles, the tibial, uh, the shin muscles, as well as the uh, calf muscles, the gastric muscles. And calf muscles are the muscles which are behind the, uh, you know, the calf muscles. <laughs> the, uh, the shin muscles are the muscles which are on the front, the anterior and the posterior muscle combination. And uh, you can work them, the shin muscles can be worked by toe raises, and calf muscles can be worked by heel raises. So whenever you're working your calves, make sure that whenever you're doing your calf raises, also make sure you're doing the toe raises. So make it both ways. That way it will balance the, uh, the shin muscles as well as the calf muscles. And this is important because you want to build a balanced body. You want to build uh, strength in every part of the body equally. You do not want to strengthen one part and leave another part weak because that will lead you to pain and injury, which is something that we want to avoid. We want a good quality of life. We want a fitter body. We want a healthier body and we want to have a happier life. So in order to do that, you should always balance your exercises 
uh, balance the, uh, the exercises of the complementary muscles. I hope you found this video valuable. And if you did, please do subscribe to our channel and I will come back with more valuable information. And also do not forget to download the uh, complementary muscle cheat sheet from the link below. All right, and I'll see you soon. Take care and do not forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you, bye-bye.